That's a lot of crabs. You want... The crabs are starting to walk across the road and so there's so many. I don't know even know if you can pass with the car. You might smash one. They're all trying to go back to the ocean. Here comes a car. Hopefully it doesn't smash any. You have to be very careful. You gotta drive around the crabs around this island. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> hey buddy, old pal. Don't be so scared. This guy is going to try to manage the road without crushing any crabs. Wow, that's a lot of crabs. It's hard to drive across them. It's just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it like? Hmm. You you can you can eat eat? No, you can't. No, it have poison maybe. Oh, uh, maybe. Mm. Hey, so driving around the crabs is like what? Mm, yes. Okay. You you said something like what? Uh. It's video, like video game. So. <laughs> so it's like. It's like playing what? Mm. It's like playing a video game? Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's real, real time. Uh, so driving around crabs is like uh, playing a video game, huh? Yeah. Wow. Look at There's some people. <laughs> My name is Jason. Your name? My name is Kim. Kim, nice. Every every Korean is Kim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first thing we know, Korea likes the name Kim. <laughs> yeah, everybody Kim. Even Kim Ji. <laughs> Kim Ji. Mm. Hey, so um, where are you from? Um, from Okayama of Japan. Ah, but you're originally from South Korea. No, no, there is there is Japan. Yeah, okay, you're living in Japan now. Yeah. Alright, and what's the reason you wanted to come to visit Christmas Island? I want to meet immigration of a red crab. I want to see. Uh, okay. But oh. it's pain. <laughs> oh, so. Wow, wow, wow. Look, look. <laughs> well, look, there they are. Look, look. That's a lot of red yeah. crabs. Hey, red crab. That's a lot of red crabs crossing the road. There's so many red crabs here on the grass. They're all making their way to the ocean. Well, that's a lot. This one's eating as he's walking. He just picked some grass. Hey, can you pick some more grass and eat? Ah, you like grass, don't you? Oh, I see. So he's just collecting his grass and eating as he's walking. Oh, thanks, buddy. Have a nice breakfast. Is that it? Are you going to pick some more grass? Yeah, 
as Kim says, it's like playing a video game with these cars. Hey man. The others have our rake this morning. Ah, oh, really? Come on. Come on. So you really have to drive with two people. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you can't get anywhere with just one person. <laughs> wow. Have a good day, man. Alright, thanks man. Hi. So this is how you have to drive. You gotta have a person in front of the car clearing out all the crabs. And then the car can drive through after he clears them. If you are good there, you do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be the crab clearer. <laughs> crab, a crab clear. I clear the crabs. Yeah. Oh man, did they just crush one? Oh. They don't have a passenger to help. He's eating. <laughs> he's chewing on a piece of grass as he's crossing the road. He's like, I'm gonna multitask and eat. So you're enjoying breakfast? You're so funny. You're just munching, huh? This guy wants to bite me on my foot. But I guess he's gonna run away. Well, that's sad. This crab died. A car ran over it. There's so much noise in this forest. It sounds like it's raining. But these crabs are just crawling along the leaves, along the ground, and causing all of this noise to sound like rain. Try to pick it up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's very heavy. It's heavy too? Yeah. Oh. I pasted it in too. But I eat the food. <laughs> wow, you made it. <laughs> oh man. That's really good. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's very dangerous. Is it? <laughs> Let me get a picture. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh man. Very heavy. <laughs> Very heavy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, but he's very good, good guy. But is it dangerous? No. No? Mm. What did he do? Uh, time lapse. Did he pick your finger? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the time lapse. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, this is important. It's faster. Oh. <laughs> please, please. That was good. What? Hey, when you picked up the crab, was it dangerous? No, not dangerous. He's very, very like a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. But did he pick your finger? No. No? But you dropped him. Yes, it's very heavy. He was uh -huh. very heavy. Oh, he was heavy. Okay. He's, he's, he's dead one. Already dead. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Wait. Wait. 
That's difficult. They are red crab. Yeah. They are red signal. We are obey signal. <laughs> Every tree is green signal. Uh, <laughs> so the tree has a green yeah. signal. Oh, look, it's, it's impossible to pass. <laughs> sound <laughs> yeah <laughs> no sound <laughs> it's mine yeah boom <laughs> ah. <laughs> so we're lucky so far yeah <laughs> okay all right good job Ben one more okay clear <sighs> <laughs> Now we're clear of all the mines. <laughs> This is where the crabs want to come to, to the beach and the water to do their spawning. There's tons of them here. In fact, this is the biggest group I've seen so far. So they're all uh, here on the beach. They finally made it to where they need to go to and they're happily hanging out. Here I am in Christmas Island with the famous rock with that has a tree growing on it. And this is the beach where you can go swimming. You can see uh, so many fish in here. The visibility is really good for snorkeling. And it's right next to the jetty in the town called Kampung, which is where the Malaysians stay. And then the other place is called Settlement, which is just next door. And then I continue dancing around the world here at Christmas Island. So many crabs have walked on this sand that you can see thousands and thousands of marks from them. You see this little guy is in his shell but now that everyone has gone away. He's decided to come out and move it. There he goes. He likes his shell. I just wish I was on the other side so I could see his face. That's how he looks like from the front side. He doesn't bother with these crabs, they're not no big deal to him. But he likes to go slowly along the sand. It's actually pretty small if you look at it. But he's making his way up the from the beach too. Here I am in Christmas Island with the famous island rock behind me with the tree growing on top of it. We also have the phosphate machinery there to load it onto the boats. Very interesting place to visit here in Christmas Island. And there's about 2,000 people that live here. And I've been touring around and I continue dancing around the world.
This is a single lane road. So if you're a car or if you're a pedestrian, or even if you're a bicyclist, you have to push this button first and then you can go forward. It says pedestrians push button before proceeding. You push the button and you wait a couple seconds and then soon it'll be green and you can proceed because there's no sidewalk going this way. It's completely one lane so it's even dangerous for pedestrians and you won't have any place to go if a car came. This house used to be the governor's house back in 1901 and it used to be only accessible by boat from this flagpole over here but then after World War II they blasted out that road behind me and made a road that connects this house to settlement which is the main town here and it was occupied as a governor's house until 1995 and now it's just a museum flagpole you can go down this path and it goes all the way down these steep stairs to where they used to have the boat to get to the main part of the town and it goes all the way down here and then they had some sort of boat ramp that would go to the boat and then you could take the boat to settlement which is in this direction the workers houses along with a cannon for self-defense and right in the middle of it is a mango tree going up Point Smith Trail there's a lot of cautions for this one they say it's uneven surface there's steep stairs steep slopes even falling rocks so we're gonna see how this goes it has hand railing so that's good this used to be a lookout, but with all the tree growth, you can't really see anything. This is what kind of hole that the crabs live in. Hey buddy, are you gonna go hide? They managed to make a path here with concrete bricks through these rocks. Now this is an interesting pathway. They have handrails in between these volcanic rocks. These rocks are very jagged, but the path is well defined, so I'm able to know which way to go. At the top, there's supposed to be a nice viewpoint of the city, and I'm looking forward to that one. I think you can see uh, the whole bay, along with the jetty, the harbor, and settlement, and kampung. It looks like this tree basically split this rock in half. I don't see any other way this could have been possible to have a direct entry point in between the two rocks. Oops, I found the spot with some damage. I'll have to meander around this one. Seems like a storm was here possibly a few weeks ago and some water damaged us along with some wind. All the way here in the forest you can find a red crab. Hey red crab! Well, you're really cornered now. Where are you gonna run to now? He's not scared though. He's just uh, taking his time, enjoying the cooler weather up here in the mountain. And I'm trying to make it to the very top of this mountain. Here's a crab in its natural habitat. He just rested inside his hole. Oh, there he is. Hey, crabby. Wow, this is the exact place I wanted to visit. This gives you a great overview of the whole Flying Fish Cove, which is the name of this area. You can also see settlement off in the distance over here, which is the first area of town that I visited. And over here we have Kampung, and Flying Fish Cove is pretty much the whole area, specifically near the post office. And you can do great snorkeling in this area, which I'm gonna do later on. From this vantage point, you can see how clear the water is. 
So I'm sure I'll be able to see plenty of fish. And the water is really calm. And I should have no problem spotting some rainbow fish. This is the conveyor belt. It goes all the way here, all the way to the shipyard, delivering the phosphate. It's Territory Day Park down this way. It's also the location of Christmas Island National Park headquarters. Wow, this is this is the first time I've seen this type of swing. These are holiday homes. They're really nice, but probably costly to rent them. If you ever come to Christmas Island, you can rent one of these places and stay here. But looking around, it looks pretty empty, except for some houses like this one. This is the place where I stay. I put my mattress down in this corner and I move that chair. And then uh, the mattress is stored over here. So it's a single bed. Then we have laundry mat, We've got a separate shower in the first part, along with the toilet and then the sink is in the back. Then it's a three bedroom apartment. And over here we have the refrigerator along with the pantry for food. And then over here we have the kitchen which is super narrow. I'm really surprised it is so narrow. It's self-contained and everything is here. And this is one of the bedrooms. So, pretty nice place to stay here if you come to Christmas Island. It's a nice little house. Here we have the Christmas Island District High School. Here we have a centipede. It's really dangerous actually. It can sting you. So I'm not going to even touch this one. <laughs> Chicken crossing the road. It's dangerous. He managed it though. The phosphate mine seems to be in full operation right now. Here we have the power station. They have to stir through all of this rock to get the phosphate. Road train crossing ahead. Well, it looks like we came to an intersection. I'm going to check to see what the sign says. My plan is to go to the Dells, which is a waterfall. And I'm going to go to the right. I don't think I'll visit the blowholes because it's to the left. And today is practically my last full day. And tomorrow is only half a day, which I'm going to go snorkeling. I think I see a crab bridge. I'm going to take a look at that. This is exactly what I was looking for. This bridge is called a crab bridge. It's specially designed to allow crabs to cross the road. I saw it in brochures. And it's one of the most unique things here in Christmas Island because you can't find this anywhere else in the world. Someone thought about this idea. And it's a really good idea because now you don't have crabs on the road getting crushed. So I just like to see some crabs in action, but right now I don't see any. I'm gonna go up and take a look on the side to see if there's any crabs trying to crawl up. Right now there's no crabs trying to crawl up, but this is exactly how it looks. They climb up on the side of it, and there's little holes that you can, they can take a grip of it and crawl all the way to the top. In fact, luckily we have one that's coming down. He just crossed the bridge and he's coming down the bridge. He's my only spectacle here because there's not many crabs out here. He knows exactly how to come down the steep incline. So good job buddy. Thanks for using the bridge. You basically survived your life by taking this bridge. That's it. I think climbing up is easy but going down is probably more difficult. You can see that he's struggling. 
because he's going face forward too because he needs to see where he's going but luckily he has eight legs so he can manage to keep his balance whoever designed this bridge was really innovative because it saves a lot of crabs lives and they don't have to suffer by getting crushed by the vehicles this is what you call really rustic and old this train caboose whatever it is or train engine is completely overgrown with grass it's completely abandoned and it's rusting over too it might even disintegrate after another hundred years oops this road is closed I guess I'll be walking for three hours to reach that beach and that waterfall I just found a mango tree and there's huge mangoes on there I'm just wondering now if they're ripe this is one of the few farms on the island but those banana plants don't seem to be doing that well it is bright out here Seems like I'll be walking for about two or three hours to reach my destination on this road. And since there's no cars on this road because the road is closed, I have no chance but to keep on walking for two to three hours to see the other side of the island. But I do have all day. It's only 11.44 now and sunset is at 6.10 p.m. So I should manage to get back in time before sunset. Nobody's out here. This is the type of trees that you find here with a lot of vines. It's about 12 kilometers now and I still got about 8 kilometers left to go until I can reach the Dales. It's a bit far away and there's no traffic here so I'm having to keep on walking but once I get there I might find some people and then I'll just catch right back. Slow down and drive around. Well this road is also closed and I don't want to go down another 8 kilometers which is almost two hours with no road traffic so I might just turn around now I'm not sure if uh, Swell Lodge even operates now with these road closures but if I head back I might catch a ride seems like um, it could take me over an hour and a half just to get to that place which is probably not worth it there's so much dust that this place looks white Looks like there's snow on the palm trees, but it's not. Like over here. It looks like I walked about 13 kilometers. Wow, that's a lot. That road that I just walked down, it was completely closed, so no traffic was on it. That's because of crab migration. But now, on this road, they actually put a barrier so the crabs won't cross the road. There's actually, further down, grids. So the crabs will cross underneath the road in this culvert, kind of like a grid for cows. So I'm still on my way to Swell Lodge and to see that waterfall. Hopefully I'll get a car now because this road is open for the public. So they should be coming down anytime. We don't know when. Holy cow, that's a lot of dust. Luckily, it's not getting me, but if I was further down, it would completely take over the whole road. This grid is specifically made for crabs. Oh man, so much chalk. Hey. So much chalk. Yeah. <laughs> so you're delivering chalk to this road? Oh, yeah. Yeah, ah, okay.
because you end up making Nah, the waterfall's like it's up the top there, up the stairs. They're pretty old Sorry, though. Mate. Dinner in. These are um like 60, 70 years old. Yeah, that's pretty old. Awesome. Ready? Oh, that's... Hey. Put it Will like that over that side. Oh, well, it's all cool behind anyway. Oh. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Hold, put your arms out straight. That way it looks bigger, like, you know when you go... Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to put him up the tree. I want him to hold on to a tree. Put that this one over here. I know that's fake, but... Oh. Hold on to here, mate. <laughs> hold on to there. Got it? You got it. Hold on. Oh, he's heavy, huh? All right. Wow, you made it. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Cool. Oh yeah, they get pictures like this one too. Hey buddy old pal. This one's trying to hide. Hey buddy. Yeah, we were lucky with that one. Yes. <laughs> I could just come and bring a picnic and just stay here all day. Well, you can. Yeah. Don't do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how far is this waterfall? Like just there. Oh, okay. Well, I say that, but you can kind of see where the stairs in. All right, yeah, I see it up, up there. This is the waterfall, really small. The new grill is outside? That's right, yeah, ready to go. Alright, we'll just take a look at it. Just heating it up now. A strange species from Christmas Island. You don't find them often, but when you do, you will know good things. Hey Max, how's it going? Oh, uh, <laughs> you good, mate? <laughs> so, what are you cooking? Oh, tough snag. Alright. <laughs> So you're gonna uh, make mashed potatoes with this? Yeah, I think so. All right. Let's go. So you're the mashed potatoes guy, huh? <laughs> I am. I like mashed potatoes. All right. <laughs> all right. So finally, we have dinner made. <laughs> so what's all included? We got the sauce. What do you call the sausages here? Snags. <laughs> Snags. And what else? Steak. All right. Beans. 
and good old smashed potatoes. All right.